What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another Kajabi video. So today I just wanted to walk you through the most recent webinar that I created using the platform on Kajabi. And it was a lot of fun to put together, but I know there are some technical details that people want to know about. And I'll just walk you through an overview of how I kind of did that and what to look out for. So the first thing to do is under the marketing tab, um, you have email campaigns, funnels, automations, events, and forms. We're going to focus on funnels here. So if you click that, if you don't have any pre-existing funnels, they're going to ask you what type of funnel you want to create. But if you do already have a couple, as you can see here, this is the most recent one I've done. And so I'm going to create new funnel. Okay. So I click that and then it leads me to the page with all the different funnels we can use, which are basically just a, a preset of a number of emails plus different pages that you can populate with different things. In our case, we're actually going to go over to the legacy funnels. You could definitely do a Zoom webinar, but the way I've done it is through uh, just this webinar uh, funnel over here. So you click get started and then you can name it. So give it its own name. Then what type of webinar is it? Is it a pre-recorded one? So you record a video, then you upload to it, or is it going to be live using YouTube live? Okay. So let's say YouTube live. When does it start? So you say the time, the day, right? And then you say the time zone. And then what's the offer you're going to sell there as well under the webinar or during a certain point. So then you can choose your offer there. So let me just click one of these here. Now we're going to click generate funnel, and then it's going to take a couple of minutes to put all the different pages together. So to skip that process, I'm just going to show you here. This is the funnel that I just put together or that I, that I did recently called the complete composers framework. And it basically has these core components. We have the registration page, we have the webinar room, and we have the confirmation page. Okay. So first thing that you're going to see is the registration page. So let's take a look at that. So the way I set it up and they, they give you a, a pre-built template, right? But um, I like to have a timer so that they can see immediately when they go onto this opt-in page, it's an opt-in page, by the way. So they're going to, uh, you're going to have to create a form for them to do that. Um, actually, no, they actually give you the form. Uh, once, once they say, uh, once you have the CTA button, you can say like reserve my spot, they can click it and then it, it pulls up a form for them. So for example, if they click that, then you can, uh, they can put in their name and their email address or whatever information you want from them. So anyway, I like to have a timer. Of course, I like to have the heading here and the day is going to show due to the event uh, that we just set up and then a little bit of blurb about what it's going to be about three different things and then some more bullet points of what they'll learn. So because this is a free uh, workshop, most likely they will join, but you still want to make it as juicy as possible. You really want to incentivize it. Um, you really want to make it relevant to your target audience, really what they want to learn. So I have a button at the at the top and the bottom going uh, or, or allowing them to register for this workshop. So that's the registration page. <clears throat> then we have the confirmation page, which is where they go to immediately after registering. And it just says you're officially in. Check your inbox for all the details. See you soon. Be sure to add it to your calendar. And then this is written down uh, automatically based on the event that you chose. So you, you can see here, select your event, you create the event. Um, and then I have a little image here showing that, uh, you know, showing, showing the event that's going to come up. So that's the confirmation page, really, really simple. And then finally, it's the webinar room, which is the actual place where they're going to be when you go live. So we say, uh, live stream, don't close this window. And then here I've just written down, this is exactly what this workshop is. So they have a nice big heading. And then here is where you have the YouTube live. So you go into uh, YouTube, you can make it uh, an, an unlisted, uh, live stream. And then you're going to copy the video ID, take out the www.youtube.com area and just put in the video ID there so that it links directly to your YouTube studio. And so this is uh, that video. And then when you go live, you're going to have the chat available as well for them to go uh, chat in as well um, while you're all live on Kajabi. And I actually use StreamYard, by the way. So I went live through StreamYard so I could pull up their comments and see them as well. And then here at the bottom, I say, I hope you enjoyed the workshop. Also stick around. I've got something special for you at the very end. And here I just had a button that shows up after 90 minutes. And it was just uh, for, for a, a, a bundle of courses that I was selling. So that shows up 90 minutes into the webinar. And then here you can use the background image, use image overlay, which I did. You can see there for the background here. And it's as simple as that. So those three core components are what you want to, to uh, edit there. But this is the webinar we just created from scratch. So you, these are the components that they give us. The registration page, which we saw. We have the actual webinar itself. Let's take a look at that. 
these are the different emails. Um, but here's the webinar title, the day and time, the time zone. And then you, you, these are the different emails they give us. Congrats, you just registered. Starting in 60 minutes. Let's take a look. So, hey, in about an hour, we're going to go live. And then they have the link. The, the time will be populated there based on the event. And then 50 minutes before. And then ready to make a decision to purchase your offer one day after the event. So, of course, you want to customize this text to your own liking, right? But you can see here that they give you a, a great... A place to get started and then of course you can add emails let's say you want to send them an email just as you're going live you can do that so when at the time of the event so i added an email there to do that okay then you have the confirmation page again you can edit which i just showed you but this is the confirmation page there then we have the actual webinar room so again put in the youtube live put in the video id show the chat there's the chat um, and then we have the sales page, which they can then go to after clicking the CTA button during the workshop. Um, so then you can sell your product here. Um, for my button though, I actually linked to a separate landing page that I created. I did not use this built-in landing page for this funnel. I created my separate one there. And then, you know, I have a couple other, other automations here, but that, that's, that's neither here or there. That doesn't really matter. So that's the idea. Um, just going back over these emails, these are the ones that I used. So congrats, you're registered. I said, you've officially booked a spot for my free workshop. And then again, here's your reminder. Here's your special link. These are a few things we'll be covering, how to craft memorable melodies, how to orchestrate, how to mix and master. Make sure you save this link. So they get that email as soon as they register, whether that was a week before or two weeks before. And then I send them an email right before it happens, a day before. Quick reminder, our live training is happening tomorrow. I hope you're ready. You can join us with this link. And then an hour before, starting in 60 minutes, and then... Uh, take your seat. We're about to start 50 minutes before. And then I added additional email to say we're live at the time of the event. Right. And then three hours after the event, I said, phew, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And then here's the replay if you couldn't catch it. So if you want to offer a replay, you can certainly do that here as well. And that's it. That it's as simple as that. So that's the whole idea. Um, building from a funnel first, having those pre-populated emails and, and that flow is really, really nice, but make sure you edit the opt-in page so they know exactly what the workshop is, the webinar is. Make sure you set up that private or unlisted uh, YouTube live in your YouTube studio. Copy that link code and paste it into your webinar room here, your video ID as you can see. And then you have the chat as well, which you can go live with as well. Um, and then, yeah, if you want a CTA, you want them to click a button to purchase your offer while you're live, you can do that as well. You can link that to the sales page that they give you in the funnel, or you can create your own separate one, which I did. And uh, yeah, that, that was basically the flow that I went through. So you can see it's pretty simple. Um, make sure you customize the emails as well. Make sure it's really inviting and don't be, don't worry about sending them too many emails. Like you can say, this is a one-time event that I'm doing. So I'm not going to be doing this again. Make sure you join us. So yeah, one day before, one hour before, 15 minutes before, literally as we're going live. And then a few hours afterwards, just to, to let them know that you're, you're going live and this is really important, right? So anyway, there we go. Hopefully that kind of made sense. A really simple flow. If you, uh, if you want to use Kajabi for your webinars, it's completely possible. And I think the one that I did was um, a big success. I really enjoyed it. And a lot of people had fun with it as well. Uh, while they were live with me. Um, yeah, if you want to try Kajabi for yourself, for your online business, for webinars, or hosting your courses and memberships, I can highly recommend it. Uh, they typically give you a 14-day free trial on their website, but if you use my link down below, christophercu.com slash Kajabi, then you can use an extended 30-day free trial, so more than double, and I'll give you two bonus mini courses as a thank you, uh, Kajabi in 30 days, which will walk you through exactly how to set up your business step-by-step -step on the platform. And number two is content marketing for creatives, which walks you through the exact model I'm using to put out free content into the world and then monetize that on the back end through my courses, my memberships, and so on and so forth. And it is an affiliate link. So if you do become a paying member of Kajabi, then part of your payment supports me in the channel, which is greatly appreciated. Of course, there's no obligation, but uh, just note that if you do so, um, you can use or take advantage of the extended 30 day free trial by using my link below, plus those two mini courses. So I really appreciate you watching. Thank you again. Let me know if you uh, need help with anything else more than having to jump in and consider any ideas, but I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.